Let's create this top-down shooter thing. We'll create 4 nested game objects. Create a player, beneath it create a gun pivot game object, inside it create the sprite for the gun and inside that sprite create a fire point object. Now select gun pivot and create a new script called gun pivot. Open it up and add 4 variables. Reference to the camera, 2 public transform fields that would reference the gun holder and the fire point, and the reference to the prehab of the bullet. Create a method called rotate gun which would rotate the gun. Um, in it we'll calculate the distance vector between the mouse position and the gun holder. We'll use some trigonometry to calculate the rotation angle. In the top right is an explanation for you nerds who wanna know how it works. Cause I'm not a nerd, what the fuck, why would you think that? Um, then we'll rotate the gun using quaternion dot angle axis. And you know, uh, we'll call the function in the update method. Create another function called player input. There we'll check if the player has clicked the mouse button. And if so, we'll spend the bullet with the rotation of the gun. Oh, and we'll call it in the update method. Kinda did a mistake there, um, don't forget to change screen to viewpoint to screen to world point. If you've assigned everything correctly to one point script, it should rotate to face the cursor. Create a 2D sprite that would be our bullet and make it a prefab, then assign it to the bullet slot. And we can now spawn bullets, awesome! Now let's make the bullet move. Create a new script called bullet, open it up and add 3 variables. Bullet speed, bullet duration, which is after how many seconds it will destroy itself, and reference to the rigid body that the bullet will have. On wake, we are going to catch the rigid body component since we are going to use it so much. Use the fixed update function and use the move position function to move the bullet using rigid body. There, we'll use bullet speed. Create another function called destroy bullet that would be invoked after the amount of seconds specified in bullet duration. Now, add the rigid body 2D and the bullet script to our bullet prefab. And that's actually it. Now you can play with the parameters of the bullet. So, I mean, it looks something like this. Hope you've enjoyed. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to try out a game I made for Android, I would be super happy. Link in the description below, guys. Try it out. Fun. Not biased at all. But really try it.